Alright guys, Kirk here, back with another episode. Thank you guys for tuning in once again. And as you guys can see, I'm not in my typical setting. Deciding to change things up a bit. Just shooting in new locations, experimenting with different backgrounds and giving you guys more new content. So today, as you guys can see from the title of the video, we're gonna be talking about a new modification that I did to the M2. Now, some of you may have seen this in the previous video when I did the installation for the lowering springs, and that has to do with the interior of the car. And for those of you who don't know, I'm talking about customized seat belts from Safety Restore. Now, for me, I'm all about adding small details, and this one is no exception. I wanted to make modifications to the interior of the car that are gonna bring out the overall personality. And because the car does have a all black exterior and interior i thought this detail was going to give it a nice addition to everything that i'm planning to do now for those of you who don't know safety restore is an online mailing service that primarily focuses on three main areas surrounding seat belts first one being seat belt repair they have a custom webbing replacement service and they're also able to reset the airbag modules on your car now the ordering process was pretty straightforward they do have an online website i was able to just go online select the service that i wanted and put my order in now the service will take you a few days simply because you're gonna have to take the seat belts out of your car, ship them out and have them do the service. From then, once they receive your seat belts, they have a 24 hour turnaround time. And then from there, they're gonna mail it back to you. Now, the main thing I would say, the delivery times are gonna vary depending on which area you're located, especially in the US. I know getting closer to Christmas time, there might be some service delays in between that. So that is something you're gonna have to keep in mind. But overall, the experience for me was pretty good. The hardest thing to be honest was just being able to take out the seat belts and put them back in. I'm gonna show you exactly what they look like right now. Alright, alright, here we go. As you guys can see, I went with the light blue color option. I think it matches the interior stitching very nice. It's pretty much the same thing and definitely goes with the overall theme of the rest of the car. To me, the quality was pretty much close to OEM. I will say it does feel a little bit softer compared to my stock belts that I had before. The disassembly process to take them out was pretty straightforward. I'm going to show you on the other side how I was able to do it. All right, so I only did the front seat belts and that's mainly because I only drive by myself. Sometimes I'll carry one passenger, but I didn't really see the need to have all four done. Now to take your stock seat belts out, the process was pretty straightforward for the most part. It's held in by a bolt on the base and then the process has to continue by you removing out the inner quarter panel. From there, there are gonna be several bolts connected to the top of the seat belt that you're gonna have to pull out as well as some clips now the quarter panel trim is held in by a few clips on the both on the top and also the side you're gonna have to take your time in removing them i didn't want to break any clips and have any fitment issues when putting them back in so i made sure to take my time use a couple trim tools to remove it as well and also in order to get out everything you're going to have to pull down your back seat for us we had to take out the base of the back seat as well as pull down the top portion from there everything pretty much slid out very easily i will say this before you do attempt it please make sure that you disconnect your battery ensuring that you don't have any issues with taking the seat belt out and putting it back in so make sure that's something that you take care of now from there the process is pretty straightforward once you get the seat belts taken out i will say however when you're packaging up the seat belts please make sure that you put a note inside the package now that was something i didn't do unfortunately and that caused a slight delay in getting my seat belts taken care of with a note please make sure that you're putting in your name the mailing address that you're sending the belts back to as well as a small description of your order and also your order number yeah once we got the belts back it was pretty easy to put them back in we simply had to just reverse the process that we took them out in that one was actually way quicker to do to put them back in than to take them out um, i didn't have any fitment issues again you may need to make sure that you're battery is disconnected when doing so 
and as you guys can see the overall finished product is pretty good Just wanted to show you guys with the belts fastened and man this thing does look so nice i think it really complements the interior simply because there's not a lot of color in general going on in the inside you know beyond the stitching it's pretty much all black and for me being able to see this especially from the outside look at it right now things looks perfect all right so we're back inside the car i figured i'd just give you guys a quick view of what the belts look like with me strapped in as i mentioned before it's super soft you know feels really nice especially when i'm strapped in but does feel very durable and sturdy i don't really have any complaints as far as the comfort level is and as i mentioned before the light blue color option for me personally i prefer it i really think it gives a nice pop of color especially in the interior now you can choose several different colors i know they have red blue yellow green there's a really nice silver color option as well and for those of you who want a more oem plus colorway they do have an m stripe version which is similar to what you see in the m3 competition that has the three colored stripes that go down the middle super clean super simple but still gives it that added touch but for me i kind of wanted something a little bit more vibrant something that definitely stands out no matter if you're in the daytime or the nighttime and trust me i think the light blue color option is the best fit for this project at least now mark did go ahead and get a set for his m3 build i'm not gonna tell you exactly what he did so you're gonna have to stick around and wait till he reveals his but for me i think this is a major upgrade especially for the interior of the car all right now for those of you who are interested in getting this service done please feel to reach out to them at safetyrestore.com you can also get them on their ig i'm going to put all the links down below for their services huge shout outs for them for the quick turnaround time and getting everything sorted out for me this was something that i've always wanted to do especially in my car I've never been able to have colored seat belts in the past so being able to put them in right now and seeing the end result trust me 10 out of 10. If you guys are interested in getting this done on your car, they pretty much work with any manufacturer you can think of. BMW, Mercedes, Toyota, Honda, you think of it, they can do it. Again, I will say in order to make sure that there aren't any delays in your orders, please make sure to have all the notes and instructions that you need for them to do inside the package when you mail it off yeah but honestly that's pretty much going to wrap it up this was just a quick vlog just to kind of highlight this modification i know a lot of you guys would probably be interested in doing it to your car as well so if you guys have any questions feel free to ask me or feel free to reach out to safety restore as well now if you guys did like this modification make sure to smash the like button make sure that you guys are subscribed to motor gear tv it's a little bit windy right now so i think i'm gonna go home thank you guys for tuning in to this episode please stick around for the next one and i'll see you until then take care guys we out